Howdy counties. Here's a quick little weekly walkabout. Oh yeah, by the way, happy Australia Day. We're not really at work. You're not really watching the weekly walkabout. Some cool stuff this week. Like this little North Suburban Canary Improvement Club card. There you go, great little thing. Here's an interesting lot of postcards of all actresses. Uh, pretty cool playing all male parts. Some interesting stuff in amongst there. It's a lovely little Bakelite, Deco Bakelite cigarette or card box over the back with a beautiful little cameo of a girl on it. Cool goggles, some Swarovski crystal aminals. Little collection of cereal toys in the bag there. Some great old 8mm films, Heckle and Jekyll, Flintstones and Yogi Bear. More good postcards. It's a little, um, I think it's a little laser sight to be mounted on a pistol or a rifle or something like that. Really good quality little thing in that little sort of uh, pink coloured bag. Got Winchester, a little three piece plier and knife set and another one up the top there as well. Costume jewellery, some nice little bits and bobs in the jewellery cabinet. What else have we got? Cool big pair of spotlights, lovely little lamp there made from brass, 1980s sort of Victorian style. Little phone table's cute, really nice scales on it as well. And these are nice little Bentwood chairs marked underneath Bentwood Factory Krakow Poland or something like that. Pretty cool. Another nice lamp, another little standard lamp. A little blue painted pot cupboard actually, it's kind of cute. A big telescope on the stand. Got old five slotter mags and sort of Ford parts. Mercedes parts down underneath the desk there. Stereo gear. The Pioneer sort of tweeter horn there out of an old speaker box or something like that. Big lot of camera photographic gear. Little reel-to-reel -reel tape player with tapes and it still works. There's a little sort of portable air conditioner there. It's got all the tubing and stuff over the back to go with it. There's even a bloody Apple iMac in here this week. A couple of cages. Almost come in handy. Water skis. It's pretty cool. Print there of the old dirt track racers. All 1920s, 30s cars. Little snail garden stool's been well sat on over the last couple of days. The other stools are pretty cool. Nice pair of speakers, the old Ronio machine there. Pretty cool little tribal carvings, another lovely alabaster and brass lamp. A couple of snowboards. The old Osmosis surfboard there, down Mornington or Rosebud. They used to have a big skateboard ramp out the back of their shop, I think. Some nice little books, Australiana books and some interesting stuff. Little workbooks, got some lovely old big um, colour plates that fold out inside there. There's lots of lovely crystal and sort of cutlery sets this week and pretty china. And this is pretty cool. It's a corkscrew. What do you reckon the case is made out of? Huh? I know. <laughs> yeah, they have a little bit of fun on the odd occasion. Nice little lots of bottles and stuff and bits and bobs and some cool CDs. Nice little sort of emergency work light there to hook up underneath the bonnet of your car or something. Never seen one with a wooden sort of handle. Which is pretty cool to plug the globe into. Little occasional tables and chairs. We've got a nice big lounge suite this week. Lovely old map here. Top of Australia, New Guinea, Borneo. It's about 1832 or something like that. Engraved map. Quite a large thing. Nice little oil painting as well. Victorian or about 1900, give or take. A couple of lovely big sort of Egyptian wall hangs. Big Adams dinner set in the Sharon pattern. Shazza! Nice cutlery set there. It's a carton there, some amber glass, a couple of good little unmade model kits. All good quality crystals, steward it looks to be. Cameras, robots, pop-up books. A little disco doll. She's really cool from the 1970s. I think she's made by Matchbox or Hasbro or something. Dick Tracy model's been made up and they've done a bloody good job. Undiscovered Pro Heart book's a nice thing. Got some nice paintings in there by him. 
I know, that's an oxymoron. But some of his early stuff is actually really good, not like you're used to seeing. Big lot of pretty china again. Nice little dinner set, 1930s. Posters, Australian pottery. A couple of wigs sort of mirrors. The punter and golf. Some Asterix wallpaper rolled up there. Crystal glass, pretty china, can't wear. It's like a little Winton chintz trio or something. Dalton cabinet plates. Some interesting crested wear. The shrine, Trinity College, Melbourne. Another Dalton cabinet plate over the back there. Murray River gums. Nice big lot of VP, lovely pair of Walker and Hall vases over the back. There's a nice, the Matchbox carry cases, one stated 65, the other 66. I don't think I've seen them as early as that before. Big boxed MGTC. I got an ex-girlfriend of mine used to have one of them out in the backyard that her dad gave to her. I wonder if she's still got that. Little shell lubricant tin's pretty cool. Some koalas, love the little bloke with his balloon. He says. Some more crystal and Royal Albert. Binoculars, nice little stepped art deco light shade. Interesting lot of maps. Stuart decanter. Beautiful bit of Japanese awaji pottery over the back there. 1920 stuff. It's been bloody cut down though, which is a shame. It should have been a lot taller. Would have been a really nice bit. Uncut footy cards. Signed footy. Big bit of Bar Barbie Lindsay. Big bit of pottery over the back there. It's a good example of her work. And a nice big lot of Royal Albert. More good English stuff. Speaking of English, they'll always be in England. There you go, good old Churchill with his cigar and his off-sider, Kitchener. Yeah. Nice big Reg Preston littered comport terrain thing. Some little Skippy the Bush kangaroobas. Love the old thermos. Cool phone. Royal Albert. This is nice as well, the clock with the coin slot up the top. I think it's a, a bank sort of incentive, saving incentive. I think they gave these clocks away or something like that. I might be mistaken. Someone will certainly come in and let us know. Um, Christina Macquarie, contemporary Australian porcelain, big bowl over the back there's a lovely thing. American glass, the blue flash cut glass is quite nice. Big Ulrika Heidman Valian Costa Boda platter over the back. Really pretty little bluebell 1930s deco. Royal Albert, lovely big Margot and Robert Beck setting over the back there. You've got the big littered terrine and eight little comports. Hat box is nice. Big bit of Satsuma, Chaparis Reproduction Bronze, lovely pair of Repro Flintlock Pistols. Now, so we got Royal Ducks, little Woofer Dog, the Silvac, the Dalton, more Royal Albert, Vic Greenaway. These are interesting little bits. I think the little bit with the band, a little beaded band around it might be a little bit of early McHugh, Tasmanian stuff, about 1910, give or take. Royal Albert, quite nice in the Amari colours, and some good bits up the top here. Still be a bit of Royal Ducks. Another lovely bit of Satsuma. The platter over the back is a bit of Regal Mashman. It is marked with a sort of sponged glaze. Quite unusual and early. Little Goval Salt and Peps. Can't wear Pheasant Salt and Peps. Beautiful little European school oil painting on panel. And this one's by a different artist oil painting on board. But once again, unsigned European school. So well painted it's not funny. They're beautiful things. Nice little bit of Gabriella. Uh, Batossi, or no, that's not correct. Can't remember her last name, but it's a lovely little bit of Australian glass. Nice little bit of ruby glass. Another lovely sort of Japanese export wear piece. Nice teapot there with a little ivory knob on it. There you go, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. But, you know, the score, I don't really care too much if you did or if you didn't. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice Australia day. Have a beer for me. Cheers.